Every actor has an Achilles heel. They do a movie. <laughs> they, do, they do a movie that they're not particularly proud of. Sammy Fuller had a friend named Ray Kellogg who was a special effects man. And Ray Kellogg wanted to, do, to direct a movie. Well, Ken Curtis, who played Festus on Gunsmoke, you all remember him, produced it and was going to star in it. We got, uh, uh, and they said, Mr. Best, would you do that movie for, for me, for Ray Kellogg? He doesn't have any money. They're shooting it for 15 cents, and so we're going to shoot it. <laughs> Not much more. We went down to Texas, and they said, I said, well, who's going to be in it? And he said, well, we, we've got Miss Ingrid Good from Sweden, who was a Miss, Miss uh, Universe. I said, oh, where do I sign the paper? <laughs> I go to Texas, and we do this little thing. Killer Shrews is a story. <laughs> Believe it or not, it was so bad, it became a cult film all over the world. And they've actually colorized it now. I don't know why they didn't burn it. <laughs> but anyway, we, my, my wife and I formed a movie company uh, down in Hickory, North Carolina, and we're gonna shoot The Killer Shrews 50 years later, and I'm playing the same part. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's wonderful, being old. You can do or say anything you want, you know? What are they going to do? Give you life? <laughs> anyway, we're going to do it. We're gonna, we got a good script. Believe it or not, we got, we got some big people. I can't tell you the moment because it's a contractual type of thing and I can't do it, but you will find out about it. And we got some nice names on it. We got a good script and we're shooting with our brand new red cameras, which are the top of the line. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a silly movie but at least it won't be embarrassing. There won't be any, uh, we're gonna make family type of films. I'm tired of what's coming out of Hollywood. <laughs> they won't hire me in Hollywood. I don't really see the same way they do. I don't believe, they do a remakes of remakes of remakes that we did 40 years ago and we did it without dirty language, you know? You know, I've died probably 25 different ways in, in my career. We put a little chocolate syrup on our shirt for blood and fall off our horse. They know you're dead. You don't have to see the body parts fly. And in the war, I don't think anybody ever saw a spark fly off in anybody's chest. In movies, the, the, the leading man, he shoots for 10 minutes, blowing up sparks flying everywhere. He can't hit the heavy, he can't hit him until the end of the picture. And then he has to fist fight him in karate and they fight for 20 minutes and don't draw blood. <laughs> now I studied karate for three and a half years and then Kung Fu and I, figured, and I found out if you don't win in the first three or four seconds, you're gonna lose your fight. You're gonna lose the fight. Somebody's gonna kick your backside. I have a motor mouth, I guarantee you. I just go on and on, so forgive me. <laughs> but, you, but you all are family, so I can do what I want to. And you, I, I just hope you enjoy it. All right, what we got next? We got, oh, yeah. Randolph Scott, good Western gentleman. What? <laughs> Oh, it's a killer shrew. Oh, there. Here comes the dogs with the rug on them. We dress those dogs up like, with rugs on them to make them look like shrews. Watch, look at that. Oh, got him. <laughs> oh, that's good. Boy, don't you think the critics had fun with that? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I wanted those dogs to chase me up through that woods. 
We didn't, they said, how are we gonna get those dogs? We can't train those dogs to do that. I said, get a raccoon. They said, what for? Put him in a cage. We don't want to hurt the raccoon, but put him in the cage and we drag the cage up the way we want them dogs to run and that they'll follow that scent. And so that's what we did. And we drug the thing up there and we get ready. They get ready and turn those dogs loose and I'm up in front of them. <clears throat> and they said, all right, action. And I take off a running. Well, I look back and those suckers were coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure they were chasing a coon. <laughs> they may be snapping at my backside. I don't know, but I'm running. <laughs> but I got to the wall. Did you notice me climbing like that? I wish I could do that now. 